call of uh, Mr. CP. Yeah, you're a prophet. He said there's no prophet between me and Jesus. Do you believe Sorry, in that? Today's topic is about Allah. So are you ready to speak about Allah and give us equal time? Sure. Why you are uh, sure? I will give you equal time. I speak yes. as speak you, as you much as you want. I, okay. I, I, speak I speak as you, much. I to your message. Sufi, Sufi, Sufi. I'm, I'm talking now. All right. Let me introduce. Okay. Inter in, tell me who is Allah. Tell, tell me. Tell. Okay. I'm I'm going you to know, listen. I'm going time. to hold on. Hold on. You, you, you are a bit stupid. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Breathe. Breathe. Tell us who is Allah. Tell us who is Allah. But I want you to give me a reference. Is that fine? Five minutes. Is that is that fine? Is that fine? Tell me who is Allah. Tell me what Allah means. But I want you to give me a reference. Can you do that? You want Allah mean? What the word Allah means, and give me a reference. The mic is yours. I'm listening. You want reference? Okay. Reference, you know, when I say to you, when I say something to you, I need to give you a reference where I get this from. So tell me what Allah means and give me a reference. The mic is yours. I'm giving you a reference. Go to an Arabic Bible website, arabicbible.com. Uh -huh. Go and look Genesis 1, and you can see the name Allah there. This is a translation. This is a translation. This is a this is a stupid translation. This is a stupid translation. Are you happy now? Give me your a Muslim. Don't give me a translation as an example. I'll do listen in the in the Quran in English. In the Quran in English, you say Jesus, but there's no Jesus in the Quran in Arabic. There's Isa, correct? Okay, do, do you have do you have in the Quran Jesus or Isa? Be honest, which one you have? You do you have Isa or you have Jesus? I want an answer. You listen, you are being childish. You are you are Muslim. not giving me a reference. You are a Muslim. You don't tell me go and read the translation of an Arab Christian say that Allah is a word named God. You are being stupid now. Now look on okay, let, let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. You just said you just said hold on, hold on, Abdul. I will spank you, I will teach you how to behave. You just said in the Arabic Bible they use the word Allah, but the Arabic Christian believe that there is a trinity. So are you saying that Allah means a trinity? Allah doesn't mean trinity. I'm so you, you just you are stupid now. So what you are saying to me that the, the Arabic Christian translation says Allah too, because oh, those please. people believe in trinity. Now give me please. the definition of Allah. What Allah mean? I want reference. The mic is yours. What Allah mean? I want reference. You are a Muslim. Give me a reference from your books. What the word Allah means? I'm listening. Yesterday, let me say, let me give the answer. What does Allah mean? Mm. Go and read Arabic Bible. What does the Allah? Mean? I answered you about that. The Arabic Bible believe that Jesus is God. Are you saying that Jesus is Allah? Are, are you saying Jesus is Allah? Yeah, Jesus is not Allah. What is Allah? So you just told me that. You just said that. You said the Arab by Arabic Bible. The Arabic Bible says that Jesus is God. He is the God. So now shut up and give me from your Islamic religion what the word Allah means. Yeah, you give answer. I'll give you answer after. I'm listening. I gave you an answer already. Are you stupid or what? I give you an answer. This is a translation yeah. in the Aramaic Bible and the Greek Bible. In the Hebrew Bible, there is no Allah. Now the answer is yours. Tell me yeah, what the word Allah means. You are a Muslim, aren't you? Are you a Hindu? Are you a Hindu? Why you cannot give me from your religion a definition for the name of your God? How come? Me have time to answer you. You are afraid because you don't want to give me. I'm time waiting. I'm waiting. I keep asking the same question. Okay, I'm listening. What? The you definition of the word Allah. What Allah mean in Arabic in Islam? Your mind. A Mandela soul. You are afraid. Answer. You give me to play to you. Give me time. Give me time. Talk, to talk, you. talk. I'm waiting. I'm what? listening. Talk. Stop talking. Zakir, 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 Zakir Naik. What is the word Allah mean? Stupid. What the word Allah means? I'm, I'm listening. Go ahead. CP Abdul is calling you. Abdul giving you an answer. You are not Abdul. You are Abdullah. You are a falafel. You are a girl. You are a girl, and, and you, you know, you see, you are the same as your prophet. You have no penis. You have to invoke Allah to send you a dish of shish kebab to make it work. Are you the same case? Otherwise, prove, prove me wrong and give me what the word Allah means from your Islamic books. Your mind. CP, you asked me a question. Is Jesus is Allah? No, no this is another question. This is not the question. This is, an, this is a response to your question. Now answer. Where is the word Allah is coming from? You as a Muslim. Where is the word Allah is coming from? This is the question. What Allah means according to Islam? Give me a reference. Your mind. That's what I'm saying. The Arabic Bible is older than I answered you. I no, this is not all. The, the Arabic Bible is new. You idiot. You you are idiot. It is it translated Bible. fifty years ago. Are you stupid or what? What are you talking about? CP. Hello. CP. Listen, donkey. CP. Listen, donkey. I want an answer. CP. What the word Allah means? You do not know, do you? 
You do not know. This is the fact. This is why. Otherwise, you will say to me, "Open the book of etc." And it says etc. You are quoting for me a translation. This is a stupid translation. The same as a stupid prophet. I want an answer. You are a Muslim from the Islamic books. What the words Allah mean? Yeah, in what in Allah mean? That's what I'm saying to you. No, you did not tell me what what Allah means. What Allah means? Give me reference. Your mic. I'm listening. Police Islamic. That's why I'm saying to you. Hmm. Go and read the Jewish Torah, Genesis one. Okay, show me. Go and read the okay, show, show me. Show me in Genesis one where it says Allah. I'm going to open the Jewish Torah for you, and I will make you read. Is that fine? If we open, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we open the Jewish Torah in Hebrew, are we going to see the word Allah? Yes or no? Christian, you rats. There, you are evangelical. You are. A, you are a, listen, Abdul. You don't know, don't you? Say, say, admit, admit, admit that you are a stupid idiot who worship a god you do not know even what the name means. Admit. Prove me you are not stupid. Tell your rats. Answer me. Get lost, idiot. Don't call me again. Honest to honest to Allah. If you call me again, I will I will chop the penis of your god Allah and I will make it two pieces. I will give it to my cat. What a stupid idiot. He don't want to answer. He don't know. They do not know. Call me back. Call me back. I'm just kidding with you. Don't don't worry about your penis. Call, call, call. We want to have fun, man. Who is a Muslim and tell us what Allah means? What is the? I don't see the the answer icon. <laughs> what is the answer icon? All right, here I see it now. Hey, Abdul. Oh, he hang up. Let me call him back. Answer. He's not answering. Okay, he's not answering. Call me, call me, Abdul. Who is a Muslim can tell me? Look at this idiot there. He said, Allah mean God. If Allah mean God, so why you say there's no God but Allah? Are you stupid or what? Why you didn't say there's no God but God? If Allah mean God, then you should not say there's no God but Allah. Hello, Abdul. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. I'm asking. Okay, you. A, a, a simple question: Is Allah a name? You know, let me depend. Is Allah a name? Is Allah a name? Is 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 Allah is Allah a name or it is not a name? Is it a name? I need, yeah, I'm giving you the answer. Okay. I'm giving you the answer. No, Listen carefully. What is the so what is the answer? I'm listening. I want you to answer us Muslims and Christians. Go to Arabic Bible, Genesis chapter one uh -huh. in Arabic and tell me whether Allah is a name This or is a translation, my friend. Is that a translation or this is original Bible? Sir, let me ask another question. What is the name no, of the before, before you change the other question, I just answer you. I want my answer now. I gave you the answer. So now I want you to tell me why you cannot tell me from your religion. What the word Allah mean is Allah is a name or it is a word means something. It is a name. Allah okay, thanks name. guys. Hey, hey, finally, it's a name. It's a name. Allahu Akbar. It's a name. <laughs> what that name mean? CP. CP. What the name mean? What the name mean? You just idiot. You just told me in Genesis. There's the word Allah. There is not a name. There is a word translated as a word mean God. So now tell me what the name what is the name mean so you just admitted this is a name this is not a word mean god you just admitted that now what the name allah mean i'm listening i'm listening i'm listening i'm listening what what the word allah mean what the name of allah for doing well today morning what what so, abdul what is the doctor Nayak? listen stop 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 spitting all over what you, you just admit you just admit that the word allah is a name what that name mean childish what the name what the name of allah mean i'm listening i'm asking a question cp what is the name of god in your new testament we do not have a name he said i am he said i am all the others are just in the description of god there's no names I answer you now answer me what Allah mean you admitted that this is a name of your God and he is Calling himself by Allah right now what Allah means I want to know are you telling me that you do not know what Allah means You are saying your God doesn't have a name 
But in Matthew 28, 20, Jesus says to baptize in the name of the Father of the Son of the Holy Spirit. What is the name of the Father, CP? Tell me the name of the Father. The Father is the one who is God, exists by himself. He is the only one who created the universe. And there is no name can contain him. And there is no name can describe him. And there is no name can frame him. You are just being a dump. I just told you. Moses asked God, what are you? Who are you? What I will tell my people? He said, I am. Now I answered you. So we don't follow a name. We don't have a name for God. Our God is our creator. Now answer me. Your God Allah has a name. What Allah means? What Allah means? What Allah means? You are a coward and you will not answer because you do not know. Admit. Baptizing them in Ad the name of admit, the Father. Admit, 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 yes. In the name of the Father is me in the authority of the Father, the authority of the Son, the authority of the Holy Spirit. So the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is one God. That is not really a name. That is the authority. So who is giving me the authority to, to do baptism? It is the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Now I answered you. I want an answer. Are you saying, admit, admit, donkey, admit. You are a donkey like your prophet. Admit that you do not know that what your God name mean. Admit you stole the name from the Aramaic people. You are a thief. You are a thief and you do not know what the word mean. Admit. Just say it, say it, say it. It's okay. It's okay. I will forgive you. What Allah, what Allah means. What Allah means. What Allah means. I want an answer, coward. Are you going to answer or not? You said your God doesn't have a name. But the old New Testament, Matthew 28, 20 says, your God has a name. So what is the name? Uh, you, 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 you see, guys, you, do you see? You see? I just asked you. You see? In the, Abdul, let me let me hear you. Let me tell you, Abdul. 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 No, 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 no. You go to, you come to daddy. Let me tell you. In the Bible, there is all kind of names, but none of them is a name. As an example, the word Adam. Adam is not a name. Adam is not a name. Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh is not a name. Elohim is not a name. Those are description for God. I answer you. Now answer me, coward. What Allah means, you do not know. Just to debate the you do not years. know. I just admit that you are a donkey like the rest of the Abdul, and you do not know what Allah means, right? You do not know. Coward, I don't have too much patience to just scream forever. Are you going to answer or not? Are you going to answer or not? You are abusive. Are you going to answer or not? The first command you will not answer, right? Are you breaking the first command? You are taking God's name in vain. The God of Israel, you must love it all the heart and all the strength. <laughs> and you are breaking that command. <laughs> yes, I am. Abdul, Abdul, let me break the command of God. Let me break the command of God. You, you, let, me, let me break it. Let me break the command of God. The command of Allah is to rape women. The command of Allah is to put my finger in your anus. Is that correct? Isn't it true that when you die, I have to push my finger in your anus and put a piece of cotton? Is that the command of your God? Don't talk about the command of God. You know nothing about the command of God. You have the command of the devil. What kind of religion ordering you to push a piece of cotton in the anus of somebody and push your finger with it so that the dragon will not go inside? Is that, cor is that correct? You're being as stubborn. Is that true? So you not, now let us go. Let us go back to zero. Are you going to answer me about what Allah means? Are you? What Allah means? What Allah means? I'm answering. I'm waiting. I will wait. I have patience. What Allah means? You don't know. Yeah, your school level. What boy. Allah means, you do not know. Admit, admit. Abdul, Abdul, admit. Just tell everybody, tell everybody that you are a stupid donkey who believe in a God. You do not know even what the name means. It can be anything. But you prove me. Can be anything. Just a guy. Did he say can be anything? Did he just say it can be anything? He just admit that this is a name. Don't call me again. I'm done with you for today. Tomorrow, tomorrow. All right? Tomorrow. Enough donkeys. Garbage in, garbage out. Every Muslim is a donkey until he proved the opposite. They do not know what their God name mean. You believe it? You don't know. They have no idea. Why a Muslim he worship his God? He cannot tell us what his God name mean he admitted that Allah is a name because they don't know not a single one of them he knows this is the truth
You see how stupid you are in the name of the father. Is the father in name? <laughs> and you know, let us say, let us say for the sake of argument, you know, uh, the Christian they have a God name or name for God. What does this have to do with my question? Well, you're stupid, you are running away from the answer. You are worshiping a God, you do not know what his name is. That is the truth. This is the truth, they do not know. Stupid cult, stupid religion. They are following a God. They have no idea who is he, what he present, what his name mean, how he look like. Even Muhammad never spoke to his God. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He never spoke to his God. He have a delivery boy. His name is Jibril. And Jibril looked like the boyfriend of Muhammad. His name is Dahiel Kalbi. That is the truth. What is the name of your God? Very simple. Allah. What it's mean? He don't know. Give me a reference. He don't know. A stupid Muslim, he wanna teach us about the name of our God, but he cannot tell us the name of his God, what it does mean. All right. Hello? Hi. Hello, my friend. How are you? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Oh, hi. How's it going? I'm fine. What do you want to say to us? Um, I'm not Muslim, but um, I'm pretty sure Allah comes from Al Ilah. Al Ilah. Okay. What make God. What make you sure? Well, I remember reading it online. Um, oh, okay. It do, you, do, you, do you do you speak Arabic? No. Do you speak Aramaic? No, no. Do you speak Hebrew? No. Do you speak Chinese? No, I speak Spanish. Okay. So the only word in Spanish I know is basura. I don't think this is fit with the topic. Listen, you or he make an article. Shouldn't you ask yourself where he get this is from? What aloha have to do? You, you know, in, in, in Spanish they say aloha too, right? Hola. Aloha. Aloha, right? They say aloha in Spanish. No, hola. Aloha is Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Ah, okay. Sorry. Well, you know, whoever told you that the word Allah is uh, coming from uh, Ilah is mistaken and he is an ignorant person because Ilah is totally different word, have nothing to do. You see, the word Ilah, do you know what the first two letters in the word Ilah? I-L? E-L. Do you know what E-L? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what E-L mean? It means God, doesn't it? Correct. So, what is the name then? If the word El is God, what is rest? Yeah. What is the rest? What is left? La, Ila. Okay. What is the, What does that mean? It means the God, doesn't it? it okay. Means it's yeah. like okay. Okay. Of, but 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 okay. 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 We will let it go. Now, is is it's Allah? Is okay. Allah have the same structures as the words? The same as Ila? Is it the same? Does it sound the same to you? Excuse me? Does it sound the same? I mean, do, do, what the words have to, to share together? Ila? Yeah, you, Ila and Allah. What they share together? What is the what is the, what they share? How this is can be from this? It's Al Ila and it's it's shortened to Allah. No, you see, here we go. Okay, let me let me open uh, Microsoft Word for you. Uh, hold on. We will open Microsoft. So people they can see. By the way, I love your videos. I love your videos. You're welcome, my friend. <clears throat> I will show you in the screen what we are talking about, so we can get better understanding. <clears throat> All right.
we will take everything down we make the screen clear and now we go to the screen all right so this is the word if you look with me in the screen this is okay. the word I will type the word in English first L la L in the old languages Akkadian and Aramaic on the ancient Hebrew is equal to eel. Okay. All right. La is the name of the God. It just it's not a letter. If you ask any Muslim, is Allah a name or a word? They will say it's a name. So we have to take it as they believe, right? So it is a name. Okay. The name contains two words. Al and La, which mean God, La. The word you are talking about, it is a word mean God. That's it. It is not yeah. a name. It can be used with anything. Any any deity, you can call him Ilah. All right? So okay. that one is nothing but Il, Il. Or let us say, in Arabic we say, Al, E, La. Or with with the with light H, it's not really it's not like Allah. You see, Allah, the H is really strong. In Arabic, there's light light H, which is not even pronounced. Ilah. So. Okay. Okay. So Al Ilah. So the deity, the deity. Al, deity. Yeah. Al Al is uh, the word God you know as we agreed however in the Arabic today is a word mean or equal to that oh, yeah, yeah so the God the God yeah so the second you, you want to talk about any God you know anything uh, whatever your religion it is uh, it is a word mean God the second you talk about the name of the God that will be la that is a name that is not a word mean God this is why the uh, Muslims, the Muslims, they say there's no. This is the Shahada, correct? They say there's no God. There is la ilaha illallah. no God, but la. Okay. Now they say Allah, and many of them they think it's part of the name, but the fact it's not. So if if Allah is a word meaning God, they should say then, but God. Right? Yeah. But this is not the case. The Muslim they believe strongly that Allah is a name. It's not a word meaning God. So there's no God. Already they said there's no God. So you know, ask yourself why the Muslim then they don't say this. Let us make it simple. I didn't say there is no Allah but Allah. If the word Allah is coming from the word God and it's mean God, correct? Right? Yeah, because they say La ilaha il Allah. Yeah, yeah, but if, if you think that the word Allah is a word mean God, then we should say it's possible to say, and nothing wrong with that, we should say there is no Allah but Allah. Do you agree? Yeah, so you're saying that Allah is a. Uh, Allah is a name. Is, Allah is a name. Is a it's not a word mean God. It's not a word mean God. You know, it's a yeah. Name. Don't, don't go by those funny city articles. Uh, you know, always use your lo logic. Even if you don't speak the language, you will find right away it does not make sense. For if Allah is a word meaning God, then we can say the shahada. We can change the shahada. We can make it. There is no Allah but Allah. Okay. So, but most times don't do that. They replace here the word. The word here is God. Yeah. And but Allah. So Allah is what? Allah is the name of their God. Okay. And what is the name of their God? If you go in the Quran, let me show you in the Quran. This is Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, chapter one and verse number one and two. If you look here with me, you will see the first letter is Alif, which means equal to A in English. Yeah. All right. 
Now here, look here. This is the name of Allah. This one here. But there's no yeah. alif. You see the alif disappear. Mm. Do you see it? Okay. If this is part of the name, then we cannot take it off. So why it disappear? Because it's not part of the name. So what is missing here? What is missing is this is, is the following. Here there's a L. L la. Okay. This is the complete name Muslims they use now, but the fact it's two words. A L mean God. La is the name of the God. Here it says Alhamdu Li La. Li here mean two. Okay, so the real name of Allah is actually La. La. It is the moon god. I remember seeing you made a video about it. It's quite interesting. Yes. So don't go by those articles trying to find a root. You see, you know, we can find the roots of everything. I mean, those languages are connected for sure. But at the end of the day, it is what people believe in it, not what, what even it used to be. As an example, today, if you say the word gay, it's not the same as if you say it 50 years ago. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Yeah. So we have we have to be smarter than this. I mean, we don't just take what people are saying, you know, and uh, because uh, uh, in the language today we say al ilah. This is a, you know, I mean, this is naive. Uh, uh, so don't take what people they, they say in article blindly. Yeah. The name is so clear. It is la. It's not even Allah. And this is okay. why we can take letters from it. If your name is George, we cannot take the letter G from George. That's it. This is your right. name. But we can take this letter off, for this is not the the whole. And it is it is there's an additional letters attached to the name. Like you so know, are you saying are you saying that uh, if Allah really meant God, it would be Al Ila then? Yeah, if if it is, then we can go because in Arabic until now we have the word Al Ila, we have it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So why we have if, if the word Al Ila? Al Ila, we have it. I can show it to you in the Quran. So why we have this and we have Allah then? Because Allah is a name. That uh, A L is God. La is the name. Allah, the yeah. God La. Al Ila, it is. Uh, it doesn't matter who which Ila. Doesn't matter which God. You know. Yeah. And this is coming from the old uh, Akkadian and Aramaic language, which is E L. La. So we okay. add we add this, you know, because it is unnamed God. Ila, unnamed. Yes, uh, we did not we did not give a name because there's not, there, at that time when they have this language, there's many gods. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's an ila. It doesn't matter who ila. Like may like when you speak to somebody, you say to him, uh, may uh, God bless you. So may ila bless you, because he might have different God from yours. So you don't name the God for people not necessarily they share the same God every group of people they have their own idols or their own etc and there was a some even religion they have like a bigger God and small God like small idol and bigger idol uh, there's a God of the summer there's a God of winter there's a God of uh, the event in the season you know so there's many gods so in order to avoid naming the God when you speak to somebody you you come with the illa you know yeah yeah you know when 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 so Allah also, is, is the moon god la is the moon god you can go right now to google and search for it la it is la okay yeah you know because yeah, i'm just really confused because i'm not like a religious person i'm i guess i'm an agnostic i like christianity though i like it a lot but i see signs from uh from allah all the time what like what you see a sign what does that mean like I see, um, well, synchronicities. I mean, it's really weird. Like I'll be thinking of, I'll be thinking of hell, for instance, and I'll see fire on the TV, or I'll hear. What, well, um, what, what, what we just, uh, uh, you know, how you know that this is from Allah? I mean, what does this have to do with this? Is Allah is real first? Do you think Allah is real? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So if I see a fire in the TV and I'm t thinking about hell, do you think Allah He changed the TV program just for you or for everybody? No, no, I think it's color. I think He's predetermined it. 
ah but how come it's not predetermined to me it's only happening to you because I watch the same program I don't think about I, mean, I, see, I see signs all the time it's unreal like what uh, like what, what like what they didn't give me any example I mean you told me I'm watching a TV I, I, I I'm thinking about hellfire I see fire but there's millions of people they are watching the TV but they are not thinking about hellfire so how come it's only for you it is a sign I don't know it's difficult to explain I mean like uh, and why you think it's coming from this God I mean I, I, I what it's coming from something else like you see well, I, I wish I wish this will happen to me as an example sometimes I think I think about how to pay my bills and then I never see money coming to me otherwise I would love it each time I think about paying I receive money that would be good you know so yeah. I don't know like you know we have to be smarter than this you know don't don't, uh, don't be confused and don't fool yourself you know those what what God have to be with, with TV I mean my my I guess my friend my friend my friend this, this program listen listen this program is there is there is 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 a program made you know and the schedule before you think about anything so if you want to want to confuse yourself on purpose this is your story because I can connect anything to anything if I wish well, I know, I know that's it's possible to do, but I also get signs telling me I'm the Dajjal. I don't know. You are confusing many things. What does have to do with? I, I think you are, uh, uh, maybe you are associating too much with Muslims. Then they, they, they believe in superstition stuff. Do you believe in superstition stuff? Um, I believe in spirit, spirit entities. Yeah. Okay. Do you like believe? Demons, do, you, or... do, you, do you believe if you go in the bathroom, if you don't say a prayer, Shaitan will. Uh, we, no, I don't believe in that. I think that's okay. Absurd. Well, either, either you believe in Islam or you don't believe it. This is Islam. Islam believe in stupid things, and this is Islam. And either you take it all of it or you don't take it. Do you believe that Allah will give you an endless penis if you go to heaven? Is it really true that it's um, endless penis? I yes, thought it was endless. an endless, endless erection. No, endless erection. No, there's no endless erection. It's going to be seventy years only limited. However, you can borrow some time, but it is seventy years. It's not endless. The endless is the penis. So you see, this is Islam. Either you take it all of it, or you don't. You don't tell me. I, you know, I think there's a sign here and there's a sign there. Islam is a stupid religion, and anyone want to believe in it? I believe he have a mental illness. It doesn't matter who. There's nobody. He have a little brain. It doesn't matter how small the brain is. He will believe in such a cult. I mean, I don't believe in Islam. I mean, I'm skeptical about Islam, but uh, for about a year and a half now, I've just started seeing signs all the time. Yeah, you, but, but uh, you are confusing yourself. What sign? You are telling me about the TV? Well, I see many signs. I mean, like what? Give um, me another one. one of them is, Give me another one. Uh, I see uh, the eye of the Dajjal all the time. Well, there's no Dajjal. This is a lie. What Dajjal? Who is the Dajjal? What is that? Well, I feel like Allah is telling me I'm the Dajjal. <laughs> Why do you think you are the Dajjal? Are you, are you one-eyed? No, 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 I'm not. I mean, come on. You know, I don't know. You see, uh, if, if you, uh, you know, don't confuse yourself. Uh, I don't know what's wrong. Why why you think this way about yourself? Because to believe that you are the Dajjal, it means you are the Antichrist. Are exactly, you? yeah. Are you the Antichrist? Well, I see signs telling me I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, if you are, if you are, nice to meet you. <laughs> what I can say. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I see signs telling me that Allah is God and I'm the Antichrist and I'm going to hell. Uh -huh. And it's just, you know, and but obviously I look at your do you, videos. Because do you take my, I watch my your friend, videos? I, it helps I, I, challenge I, my, illusion. My friend, I mean no, I mean no insult. Do you see a doctor? Do you take medication? Yeah, I do. I have um, schizoaffective disorder. Yeah, this is uh, this is why, and this is explain why you are. You know, this you have a medical situation, and that explain why you are suffering from those issues. So I advise you, you know, not uh, you know, watch different stuff. You know, because those things are affecting your brain, and affecting your thinking. This is why uh, you have a disorder. Otherwise, I mean, you know, you are just confusing yourself. I, I advise you to stay away from it, and okay. so it can improve your health. Because uh, yeah, yeah. you know uh, uh, everything is in the brain. If you want to think you are something, you will be that thing. If you think you are shaitan or Satan, you are Satan. Then, so don't don't fool yourself. Stay away from those stuff. Uh, read something nice, something to make you relax. You have a you have a you have a, a, a disorder in your in your thinking. You are taking medication. So stay uh, because this is exactly 
uh, I believe what was happening to Muhammad too. I believe Muhammad, he was he have a, he have a mental issue, you know, suffering yeah. from some mental issues. But in the same time, he enjoy it, and he was abusing others with his uh, uh, sexual desires, etc. So I advise you to stay away from this topic and uh, uh, be careful. You know, otherwise, you will you will uh, you know you will suffer more. And this yeah, topic is I not mean, good for just, you. It's just the worst time in my life because, you know, I think Allah hates me, and Allah is like the scariest God. My out friend, there. Allah is not God. Okay, be smarter. I know you're taking medication, but you are saying things that does not make sense. There's no Allah anyway. Can you prove okay. to me that there's Allah? There's no Allah. Well, I mean, what about the miracles uh, of the Quran? There's no miracle in the Quran. Show me one. Which one? Uh, the universe is expanding. Uh, this is a verse from the Bible, and the Quran doesn't say so. It says, which means we are going to build more. It doesn't say we are going to expand it. And this verse, if it's about expanding, this is a verse in the Bible, not in the Quran. Okay, see, what about the... Um, you, are, you are reading the, Muslim false translation, my friend. Don't okay. fool yourself. Yeah. I can show you right the, now in English. Uh, the alaka. Even the the, 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 the alaka is a mistake, actually. It's not, a, it's not a miracle. It's a stupid statement because the Quran claim that Allah created you from a congealed blood and that congealed blood is the alaka. Alaka is a dead blood. Do you believe that you are coming from dead blood? Does, that, is, does it literally mean dead blood? Yes. What they told huh. you? What they told you? Well, I thought it was called a hanging suspended leech, and then they looked at no, uh, friend, images no, from no. within. Alaka, alaka is the dead blood. Alaka is the dead blood. All right. You and see, it, it doesn't mean this is the verse. Let me show you. Leech. Are you are you are you looking at the screen? Are you looking at the screen? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is chapter yeah, yeah. twenty-three, verse number fourteen. This is the verse the Muslims just speak about. Okay. This is Yusuf I translation, Muslim translation. Not my translation. All right. Do you see it? I see the screen, Al Muminun. Okay, do you see it? Then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, what congealed blood mean? You speak English better than me. It's like a scab, isn't it? Right. So this is what alaqa is. So they lie to you when they say the alaqa is a leech. It's not. Okay. Yeah. If everything the Muslims, I have a book, you can get it from Amazon, uh, two books. Both of them they speak about the false miracles of the Quran. It's a lie. Or what the Muslims did do, they take advantage of you because you don't speak Arabic, and then you know they uh, they they change the meaning to make it fit with their 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 uh, their lies. So you should be smarter than this. This is now who in the world wouldn't believe in such a stupid thing? This is a scientific error, because according to Islam, you are coming from a sperm, and the sperm transform into congealed dead blood. Is that correct? Mm. This is absolutely false. This is an error, stupid error. You know. And then from the clot, okay. from the clot, you know, we may so he, 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 he will make you a mudra, not not photos. You see, it says photos. It doesn't say that. It says a lump. It's you know from from the from the clot, Allah will make you a piece of meat. That's false too. So you see, what is a stupid mistake? The Muslim they make it as if it's science, taking advantage of your ignorance in the language, and claiming that this is a science. All right. Yeah, a lot of people are saying I'm a Muslim, but I'm certainly not a Muslim. No, 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 I know. I'm not saying you're a Muslim. I advise, you know, I, I, I understand. You told me already that you have a, an order, this misorder. I don't know what you call it. Your, your illness. It's, I understand. It's a yeah, and I, I, you know, when I, when I ask you about, do you have any kind of illness, and you said yes, I respect that of you because you've be, you're being honest, and you told us yes, I have a disorder, and it's not your fault, my friend. I'm trying here to help you. You know, so yeah, I understand. I thank you for that. Thank yeah. you very much. So don't don't make the Muslims fool you with their lies. There's no this is alone is enough to prove that Islam is a false religion. What kind of God he do not know how the baby is created? What kind of God yeah. he says the sperm became a dead blood? Isn't it, this is enough yeah. for you? You know, if this is God, he will not say this. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the rest is not important because one mistake is enough to prove that Allah is false God. Yeah, I see your point. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. You can call us thank in the you. future if you want. Uh, but and next thank time, thank you very much for your uh, thank you very much for your yeah. videos. They're really helpful. You're welcome. Next time, if you call me, please don't turn on your camera on. We we do not. Oh, it's my it. camera. Yeah, your camera is on.
Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Uh, because I, you know, I don't care about how people look like. We take the calls, and it doesn't matter who's talking. All right. Uh, okay. Thank because, you. Uh, because your camera can appear in the screen too, and uh, maybe you don't like to uh, people to see you too. So thank yeah, you for sure. thank you for calling, and you are welcome to listen. And as I said, take my advice. Number one, remember, there's no Allah. Okay. I I I, I laugh at Allah every day, and He never saw me a sign. Okay. All right? I make him a joke. I made books about him. He is, you know, this yeah. God is fake, does not exist, and his prophet is a child molester, and his book is funny, full of fictions, and stupid. So, yeah, don't convince if you convince with yourself something, then you will become that thing. Everything is in the brain, you know. Yeah, if you convince, like you see, somebody is a homosexual, if you convince himself that he's a girl, he will act like a girl because he convinced himself he's a girl. All right? yeah, yeah, it's in the brain. If you convince yourself that you are old. You will walk like an old if you convince yourself you are sick you will act as sick you will feel tired you so everything is in the brain so focus in the health your health and your brain health and stay away from the stupidity of Islam because garbage in garbage out if you read too much of the stupidity of Islam and you are not in let's say ready because you have a some mental uh, disorder then that will confuse you so I stay away from it I don't advise you however you are welcome to watch my videos and learn as much as you wish thank you my friend thank for you calling very much. and take care thank you God bless God bless bye bye yeah yeah you know I've, uh, uh, actually the Muslims they take advantage of people who they have like you know kind, kind of illness or etc because those will be those will be as an easy fish you know they try to fool them etc they target them they don't care you know uh, anyway I'm here what can you know I welcome everybody to call if you have any kind of confusion I will be happy uh, to help you but uh, uh, anything the Muslims if you know anybody is convinced that Islam have miracles please bring him to me let him call me I will show him right in the front of his eyes how Muslims they lie and you know ask yourself a very simple question why somebody is a follower of a religion he changed the meaning of the Quran isn't it obvious that they are ashamed of it you know what I mean because of their shame they lie I mean why they change the need the, the word the word in the front of us why they make it a leech when there's no leech You know what I mean? Because they are ashamed of the stupidity of the Quran. And in, in the same time, they are trying to fool as many as they can. So they change the translation, they change the text, they change everything. And yet they accuse us that we are the one who corrupt the Bible. When the fact they are the one who corrupt their Quran every day. In the purpose of deception. 